Teleporting from Phil G, maybe gonna turn it around. Six eight back in an aggressive. There's the tempered bear. He's gonna stop the telly. No, it doesn't. And now Jensen back in for a 1v2. Takes that oh, yeah. They're gonna go for Hui as well. And Hui just flashes. Back to top lane. Oh, baby. And that's the Casio classic. As soon as the jungler comes, you're like, I can do this. And yeah, so here it is. They go in onto Jensen. Flash out of the cocoon. Beautiful stuff. And he knows Smithy is in trouble. Saves the ulti. Times it perfectly. And who he has to get out as well. Or he would affect this. But they've been able to get big rewards out of the last few. And now they go straight for Baron. It's going to be tricky, though. Bardalt can stall it if Cloud9 wants to fight. Rooney, very low. Chrono there break is. to start the fight. Looks like they're going to temper fade it. They pull back for now. Adrian gets killed by Baron. Great damage as he was held back by Jensen. Rain over very low to go down. C9 fighting this one well. Impact flashes away, and Jensen's doing what he can. A oh. Looking for a quadra from Jensen. Pobelt is on the left, and they almost know it immediately as he phases away with his distortion. That's the quadra kill for Jensen in the Baron attempt by Amor. C9 really crushing it early. Yeah, and to even call back to our previous itemization talk about the mid lane matchup with Jensen, uh, he was only able to recall on a thousand, got the upgrade to his hex core, and then recalled the. Oh, oh man! God! Well, that'll work well for you, and now Afro is in a bad spot, does have flash and exhaust. And indeed, Burns flash yes, it away. Not but... to mention, everyone on that team will be building AP or AD, which yeah. is also rare. You've got a bruiser top laner, you've got a bruiser jungler, you've got an AP support. Everybody's getting their worth out of that one. Bjergsen now going to be caught out. Could the same thing that happened to Jensen last game happen to him now? Very, very close, but he still walks away. Oh, a flash into the auto no. attack, and Jensen returns the favor from game number one. I, I don't know how that ulti works. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if, if I use ulti, is that bad for me or good? I don't know. You're going to find out. Find out? Yeah. Ah, is this good for me or bad for me? Yeah, it's really good. Really good. Really good. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's going last a little while. And this is where the fight gets big. Jensen's been so good about this in team fights. Always landing in his parallel convergence for the shield and then. Keen and Chaser just kind of stick around, but with the Zyra ultimate and everything, you can hardly see where he's going to fly back to. He gets the double kill. That's when it decides to turn. Log gets hit by his first dash arrow. QSS doesn't matter because they close in. Four for zero and the Baron. Basically not there, right? I know Pope Belter goes aggressive. That gives Incarnation a lot of room to walk Whoa! around. Whoa! Nice shockwave! He turned it around! One. Incarnation looking to make the plays. He's in the minion wave, but he might have it. The flash forward, not there. That's what it. Would not have gotten that kill. It's that one minute or one second where you're like, I hope there's a lapse of vision and he's not looking at this turret. Had high eaten that arrow inside turret range. Oh, yeah. Bad oh. news bears. Even worse news lapse for incarnation here. Oh. What? Oh. oh, the gravity oh, field. For a second, I'm thinking, why are you giving him the kill? Somebody take it. But the incarnation plays with the gravity oh, field there. are going to get himself out alive. There is no rotation from all tech. He's in. Why do bottom side? Jensen, Jensen. You're gonna oh, try? Oh. Or you scared? Hey, come at me. Come at me. Oh, you're good. Bro, why does my ult go off, by the way? You see the <laughs> It is, but if Meteos catches the right targets, they're going for the TP. Here comes oh, the ult. That's a long range. He got beaten. Oh, immediate Quicksilver Sash. He's got no tempered fate. Apollo gets caught. Oh, will he be able to get out of this? Hanging on to the flash. He gets out. Specials in the front. They're going to try to burn him down instead, but the stare on the impact. Apex are kiting this Here out there. Ray. Ray. Here comes Ray. Doesn't have the recoil equalizer, though. Still sitting on that proto belt. Bullets are being fired across. Sneaky eats another spear. They chase forward. Long range engage. A they shrimp got the gets on back. Shrimp goes down. But Ray is in the back line. Sneaky is burning down. Will he be able to kite away with his life? He does. Jensen gets the double kill as the snare misses. There's the equalizer on cooldown. Sneaky kites it back as Ray goes down. And Apex have been Jensen off. is burning them down. He can chase. He's, He's got a quadra. He's going for the, the penta. penta kill. He's going to try to chase it. Penta down. kill for penta Jensen. Penta kill. Oh my.
my Whoa. god. That was the longest slide ever. Queen. You might even load this actually. Woo! Oh. What? Oh, oh he fucking flash juked us! What a legend. He's gated by your mana, especially before you have a tier. And he's not going to have to deal with that because he got gifted the blue buff. One of the advantages of having Rek'Sai. And it was a Oh, he might get him. He won't quite die to the poison. I don't think. Oh, he got him. Oh, he burns down. Bjergsen did not expect the output. And Jensen claims first blood at level five. The solo so kill. But there to break the tether. But didn't matter because Ruler landed the snare. Yeah, but he broke the tether on the wrong target. Here, the zone from the ulti. Every time Crown wants to walk back and go into his QE pattern, he is under threat of getting ulti by Oriana. Despite the fancy flash, it's just enough for Jensen to take it down. And that's exactly why they picked this matchup. Exactly. It is currently fairly weak. Of course, the 2v2s have an extensive amount of gold. Oh, Here on. goes the hook. Baker gonna land the double. He's gonna get knocked up. Staggering Glow brings him in. Trying to 1v1 Jensen. Baker, can he turn this one back? Jensen's running for his life. He might just get clapped. He's bringing himself out to safety. Baker gonna run. Oh, he's gonna take it down. Jensen gets the kill. He threw a Q as he ulted oh, away. A good trigonometry there from Jensen. And he oh, ran over his blade. Felt like it was in spite of ran over his blade there. So. I definitely want to see some more effective ultimates from him. As Ooh, he's not been Jensen looking for a solo. Great stop on Denver. Who even the bomb? May have time to. Yes, oh. they do. Jensen naps the kill. He's going to have to fight that one. They'll probably have to take on Huni. So watching Jensen coming up from the top here. Wild Turtle thinks he's the ward. Ash Arrow and doesn't even need to flash. He just takes his E oh. at just the right Ooh. moment. Yeah, and then he got his AoE, and you can see Pobelter down at the bottom, and Riven also arrives. Really big credit to Sneaky for not being in combo rage of Huni when he came in. So <laughs> Three could... points for on. <laughs> Three points for on, but Lemonation, he's gonna dash through this minion. He's gonna dash to Westor, yes, and he he's can. gonna kill him. Westor is down. Feathervin called him out. Holy shit, that game. I can't kill them all, actually. Yeah, it works out. Hmm. I'm dead. Oh. I thought it was mid. Damn, dude. Dude, you flashed for the kill, man. He was dead. Yeah, I wanted it. I know you did, dude. I could tell. Fucking sad boys. Sorry, man. I'm, I'm trying to make your death count go down, but it's still going up. Holy shit, Cass. Oh my god. Fuck you, shit. Yeah, I'm getting fucked. Team, help. Oh shit. Uh, made eight. What the fuck, Talon? Oh! Yo! Oh! Woo! What the fuck, Talon? Jensen! Jensen! Oh, help me! Alright. Holy damage. <laughs> Holy Gragas play.